Hey guys, it's me. It's kind of late in the evening. It's 9 o'clock, 9.30. Been a very long day. So, I need to clean out my work bag that has not been cleaned out all week. I normally keep things very organized. But this is my work bag. It's a Louis Vuitton something or other. Messenger or tote. Something for men. And then have the little Fendi guy off the side. So, I was going to go through this and just see what's in here and get it cleaned up. Love watching these videos. These were one of my first videos to ever watch on YouTube. So, I thought I'd go ahead and film one. I have my Louis Vuitton key holder. Has my key fob for the car, work keys, house keys, mailbox keys in there. That normally stays in there because I normally have this bag everywhere I go. I have a wallet. I use like a card holder. And then driver's license and stuff goes on the back. I have a key clay, if I'm not mistaken. I am not good with the names of these. In here I have some reward cards, gift cards. I have P.O. box keys. Then I have my planner. This is a Filofax A5. Absolutely love it. I've looked at investing in a Louis Vuitton one, but I really love the feel of this leather. And then, like that, I do my own covers. I make all my own covers for each divider um, as the seasons as the seasons change. I will do my own covers. So right now we have Halloween, which I need to work on my fall ones. So I have different dividers for each thing and then little tabs. Don't go anywhere without this. It goes everywhere I go. I have my MacBook Air 15 inch. It's not the smallest one, but it's the next size, the next bigger one. I'll try and look on the back, but yeah, I've had this for years. Absolutely love it. Goes pretty much everywhere. I don't carry it near as much as I used to. I'm trying to get better at not carrying that one. I have all kinds of stuff. My iPad. Um, I use this every night. I do use it to set an alarm. I had it turned off so it wouldn't go off at work. I have... I don't know what this one's called. I couldn't even tell you. But it holds all my pens, pencils, highlighters. The Stadler pens, I use these all through my planner. I color, co co color coordinate, can't talk, everything in my planner. So I've got a ton of pens, highlighters, all that in here. And I normally have some extra stamps, but I think I'm out. Then I have a receipt from Kroger. Picked up a case of water. That needs to be thrown away. Then I have my Polaroid zip that goes, it lines up with my camera. I'm trying to see which iPad this is. This is a picture of me and Evan from, oh my gosh, five years ago on the back of it. I spent a little too much time in the sun in this, but yeah, that's one of my favorite pictures of us. It was his birthday. And then this is also one of my most favorite pictures of us right here. We don't really wear glasses, so it was like a nerd day. Anyway, back to this. It's my Polaroid Zip. You can print pictures off your digital camera via Bluetooth. Um, the paper just goes in here. There's no ink or anything, and it prints off little pictures about this size. And I use them like in my planners or just for scrap, like for memory keeping, scrapbooking. I don't scrapbook, but for that, a pen. That has come out of my bag. I try not to let pins go loose in here, but we're about to find a whirlwind. Um, I'm using up a lacrosse cologne right now. It's almost time for to pull out back out the Tom Ford for fall. I have a note from the W Hotel. Oh, it was an address to meet a client. I have a but to a charger for a phone or headphones. I was actually looking for that. I have form 
I'm glad I'm cleaning this out because this could explode in the bottom of the bag and make the biggest mess in the world. Form as part of the Lavelle Thrive experience. I am going to film an entire video on all their products. But this you use to help collagen producing, um, weight management, support lean muscle mass, post-exercise recovery and repair, and strengthens bones and joints, and supports firm and healthy skin. Then, my credit card for, I don't know why it's in there, but it's fallen in the bottom. And then a client's phone number on the back of a card. Another form. A pack of gum. This one is a spearmint. I always have gum. I keep gum everywhere. I have my Erin Condren Life Planner with the black coil and I did, let's find something blank, and I did the full black inside. This is what I use to track my health and fitness and workout routines in here. I bought this, it says make things happen, it's like just to keep notes. I have all kinds of notes and sticky notes in here and it's just to jot things down. Um, I think I got this at like, I got this one at Ross for like four or five dollars. I'm all about the the cheap ones. And then paycheck stub in the back. Good place for that. I'm really not this disorganized daily. This one is oh, receipt from the post office for mailing off some samples of the Thrive. My Burberry sunglass case. I know the sunglasses are not in here. They are going to be in my car, but I had this case in here because I had on one day out for work. I need a new one of these, it's a my charge. And it, I, the thing I like about this, is this is breaking, is that it just plugs into the wall to charge. You don't have to plug it into your computer or anything, and then you can plug, it has the built-in plug for your iPad and iPhones. And then I think this one works for the Samsung. I'm not real sure about that, but I think that's what it covers. Then, I have a bunch of mail and some pictures in here. Let's see what this is. Mail from the bank. Um, pictures from my friend Krista's wedding last weekend. And then me and my friend Amanda at the wedding. Evan's not a big photo booth person, so he wouldn't get in there with us, but that's okay. A recall on my car. The backup cameras and safety features are not working properly, and I learned that the other day when I almost backed into a car behind me. Then a flyer for Tidy Maids, a cleaning service. Trash, trash, and then a coupon for Leslie's Pool Supply. I'm not real sure why that's in there. Then inside here, I know it's really hard to see. There's just one pocket here and then two pockets here where I keep my cell phone, which is the iPhone 6 Plus. I'm fixing to order the 7 Plus because this thing is falling apart and it's not broken or anything. It's just, um, let's clear that off. It my touch screen is starting to go out, and it's getting annoying, but here's my background. It's New York City before the hurricane hit it a couple years ago. It's empty. It's just a really neat picture. Then I have the Louis Vuitton, kind of like a makeup pouch. I'll go through that in just a second. And here are keys to a lockbox. And then my favorite pin of all times, it's a Mont Blanc. It's, I don't know if you can see that well, it's black and silver. It's a heavy pin, I absolutely love this pin. Very stingy with this pin. Don't let very many people use that at all. So let's go through my goodie bag. This is where I normally keep most of this random stuff. Pack of tissues. Cell phone charger. If you have an iPhone, you carry these everywhere. A pack of wet ones, because I am a germaphobe and do not like to touch anything out in public, and I do not like to use the door handles and faucets in a bathroom, especially in a public bathroom, because they are very gross. 
I have Cozy Vanilla Cream Hand Lotion from Bath & Body Works. Love this for the fall. Um, this is from Davinus. It's actually a hair product line, but Evan does hair and the products that he sells in his salon is Davinus. And this is, it looks like a color tube for all you hairdressers, but it's actually hand lotion. I love this hand lotion. I live off of it. I apply it multiple times a day, but it looks like a color tube from coloring hair. Then I have more gum. I love the hard pack gum like this. I feel like it travels better and the gum doesn't get smushed and all that fun stuff. Then I have just some that came out of Birch Box. It's um, hand lotion, healing, vitamin A and D. This stuff smells like medicated, like medicated hand lotion. But it's really good when your hands are dry. Then I just have some e.l.f. Um, blotting sheets. In case you're oily or friends oily. I carry stuff for everybody. I have to do a car tour. I have all kinds of goodies in my car. I carry an extra pair of headphones. Uh, these are the Beat by Dre. It's just the gold ones. These are not my favorite. I have a pair of wireless ones that are around here somewhere. But these are great just for emergencies in case my wireless ones are dead at the gym. Because the worst thing to do is go to the gym and not have headphones. Or dead headphones. Hand sanitizer, Bath and Body Works. Um, this one's Pumpkin Cupcake. Another charger. I have the First Aid Beauty Lip Balm. Not my all time favorite. Mostly just use this when I'm at home or something because your hands are dirty and you have to like pull it out with your hands and it's that germ thing again especially going on your lips not a big fan of that but great stuff um this is a I can't even think of the name of it Brighton Angel um I gave this to my grandmother Effie many years ago for her birthday and she absolutely loved this and she always kept it pinned on the inside of her pillow when she slept and when she passed away I got it she passed away when I was 20 right in there 21 so I've carried this for 10 years with me everywhere so it always stays in my bag I have some Listerine breast strips. Got to have fresh breasts, especially when you're talking with clients and if you go to lunch and stuff like that. I normally have my toothbrush in here as well, like a portable toothbrush, but the battery went dead in it. And it's actually here at the house, so I can put new batteries in it. I have breast spray. I got it from like Whole Foods or Central Market. This stuff will knock out any bad smell, any alcohol smell, anything like that. Um, more hand sanitizer. This is just from a hospital around here. Um, Evan doesn't like the Bath & Body Works one, so I always carry one for him. And then a tin of mints that I keep, like, etc. migraine in and stuff like that. And then that is truly everything that is in my work bag. Um, here's the bag. It's a lot lighter now. It's got the strap. Um, this I transfer on and off. If it's raining and stuff, he will not hang off the bag. But then the inside, it's just a black hole. So that is a what's in my work bag. I'm going to try to now put everything back in here a little more organized and a little more put together. And then I'm going to film... I need to do a what's in my gym bag. But I'll probably do that one tomorrow evening. I'm probably going to transfer bags so when I do that I'll do another one. I normally carry a smaller bag but for some reason I've carried this huge this huge bag and it's getting quite heavy with stuff but there's certain things I can take out like my fitness calendar and stuff I don't normally keep in there that normally stays in my gym bag but somehow it made its way into my work bag so I'm going to get all this piled back in here and get ready for to call it a night and go to bed. 
So please remember all my links for my social media will be listed down below. Even snail mail, I will write back. Love to write back. Um, love receiving cards and stuff like that. I always try to write back everybody. I will do an office tour soon also. We're fixing to move our office from upstairs, downstairs to one of the guest bedrooms and move, make both guest bedrooms be upstairs. So I've got that video planned, a gym bag video, and I'm going to start doing daily, I think, car vlogs a little bit. Maybe do a couple days at a time, like three or four days, and combine that into one. I am in our master bedroom right now. The bed's behind me. But I need to find a proper filming studio, like, area in the house. So that's why we're trying to move the office downstairs. It's a little bit bigger room and has great natural light. So that is going to be our goal. And I will see y'all on the next video. Remember to subscribe. And if y'all have any questions or comments about anything I have, just list it below and I'll try to get back to you. I hope y'all have a great one.